What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Jay. I'm back at it with another video. Y'all read the title, man. I'm giving five things to make WWE 2K23 my rise slash my career, whatever they want to call it. The perfect game mode. You feel me? And um, this ain't gonna be like you know my only video. If you guys want to see more of these, let me know in the comment section below. You feel me? And before we get right to the video, man, I want to give a shout out to uh, the sponsor of this uh, channel and video. W Energy, man, thank you guys so much for uh, sponsoring your boy, my first sponsorship, you feel me? If you guys use my code, JY Gaming, you get 10% off of any of their products, man. They have energy drink tubs, they have hydration drinks, they have merchandise, they have all types of things on their website. They have cups, they have laptop stickers, man. Do me a favor, go ahead and check out their website for me, man. Again, JY Gaming, I'm going to leave this mug on the screen the whole time. And also, I'm going to leave the link to their website in the description below. Again, thank you so much to WNG, and also, thank you guys so much. Again, especially like, you know, the 2 k 22 crowd, man. Y'all went crazy over these My Rise videos, and again, trust me, I ain't done with WWE. I will admit, I went through a little bit of a slump in my life, man. I, I, I might I might let that out, I might not. Let me know what you guys want to see, man. Just let me know in the comment section below if you guys want another wish list video like this. If you guys want me to deep dive into different modes as far as, like, wish lists and everything. Let me know in the comment section below, man. And also, again, I'm definitely going to be looking into getting those, um, the AEW game when they come out. I definitely want to come out with some more wrestling content on the channel, man. But let's go ahead and get straight to the uh, list real quick. So, number one, the rival matches. I want improvements on those. And this is what I mean by that, right? So, you know, when you're in the... And I, I'm on the menu right now so I can show you guys a little bit, right? So, when you look at, uh, for example, you got Tasia Meadows, of course. You got Brent. Yeah, yeah, you got all these people, right? I feel like there's no connection with the story with this, right? The reason why I say this, and, and this is what I mean by this. If you're holding a championship in your entrance, and y'all know this, you do not come out with your championship. And I actually really don't like that. I'm not going to lie to you. And I know it might not seem that big of a deal. But at the same time, like, like some of those matches, and y'all seen, you know, I'm playing Legend Difficulty. Some of those matches actually were pretty difficult to get. So, like, for example, like, with Yuri versus Asuka, man. Like, when I first got that women's championship... I was thinking to myself, I want to be, like, if I'm going to do these rival matches and everything, I kind of want to be holding the championship in that mug, you know what I'm saying? Now, now, now they do get, like, a lot of different boosts, which I kind of like that because they're optional, so they get boosts to your attributes and everything, but I will admit, that was something I really, really, really wanted, you know, because I feel like that, that, that that's a big part of being a champion, is holding that mug in the entrance, you feel me? So, uh, number two is being able to hold titles from different brands at the same time. Now, I do understand why they did it because, again, the stories that go into it and everything. But my thing is I, w I would like a little more continuity within the uh, between, between brands. So, like when you switch over to a different brand, I would, like, I would like the commentators to mention, oh, this is the former Raw you know, champion or the, or the former like, 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 like the former Raw Women's champion. Or, for example, oh, the former Universal champion. You know, stuff like that. It'll be, it would it would just be kind of cool to hear the, like, commentary say that or something like that. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to touch on that a little bit later as well. So, number three, the ability to export the characters into the regular game modes. You know what I'm saying? Now, to my knowledge, I don't know how you can do this. I, you know, I basically had to recreate the whole, you know, the, the uh, characters, like, from scratch. You know what I'm saying? It would be nice if, like, you create a My Rise character, right? And then they actually... You know, kind of can be just exported. So like one, one press of a button, like boom, export them out into your creative character list. You know what I'm saying? And also to add to this, right? It would be kind of cool if you could, you know, put some creative characters into my rise. So for example, and, and what I mean by this, and let's say you don't do this until like after all the story, story like cutscenes are done, right? Let's say you uh. Let's say you um get done with the story mode, right? Hear me out, y'all. What if it kind of turned into like a, you know, like they had like that, 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 that Superstar Universe mode? I don't really like it that much, but what if they had it to where now you're my rise almost turned into a universe mode? You got to keep the championship and you keep on going through the, you know, through the story. And they have kind of like universe mode-esque cutscenes, but, you know, a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? And like, what if you could actually like put a creative roster on there? You know what I mean? So you're still doing my ride. You're still upgrading your character and everything. But let's say you finished the story. You got all the all the stories done and everything. What if they kind of allowed you to continue it in like a universe style form? So you're only playing with that character, but like you're kind of going through the year and everything. I don't know. That's that's just my thing, right? 
So the fourth one. Now this one can go throughout all three games in general, but I would like it if there was a little more like returns. And what I mean by that, right? Because he, because uh, y'all y- 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 know, like when you first go against Tommaso Ciampa for the universe for for the, sorry for the United States Championship, right? You get injured. He you know brutalizes you, right? I would kind of like if like they made like the crowd pop really loud, like you know what I mean, like. If they made it like, oh my god, you know, and then like, like, like the commentary team, I, I know they kind of like, they kind of say something or whatever, but like, I would like those moments to feel huge. Like, even like a cutscene for your entrance, you know what I'm saying? Where you come out and like, just look at the crowd. You know, your entrance is not really the same a lot of times when you like, first return, you know what I mean? I would like it if like, the crowd pop was like, really noticeable. And then like, you over there like, okay. This is a big moment, you know what I mean? Where, 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 where like your character comes out and just soaks it in, like like on the stage before you go start, before you start walking down the ramp, comes in, looks at the crowd, like if, if, if he's a face, you know, just comes out and just like looks at the crowd and like you know, just you know, he, y'all know what I'm talking about, y'all 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 y'all, 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 y'all know what I'm talking about. You feel me? But but also keeping on this number four, right? Returns as well. I would like it if like when legends return, right? It's a little more of a big deal. You feel me? Like, I would love it if, like, let's say we have um, Shawn Michaels return, right? Or, like, um, I'm trying to think of people. Like, like you know, like Undertaker return or, like, you know, when John Cena returned and everything. They, they felt big, right? Like, oh, you know, I'm going against John Cena for this one, right? But I would kind of like it if they had, like, you know, again, like, again, like, cut scenes or something like that. Or, like, the crowd pop really loudly for this. You know what I mean? Like, have it be like, okay, this is like a really huge deal. You know what I mean? Because for some of them, I, 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 I could be wrong with this one, but like some of these kind of felt bland. I don't know. I don't know what it was. S- some of them did kind of feel bland, but at the same time, you know, I was excited about it. But like, when you look back into it, now maybe also what probably would help too, though, because again, y'all know, I played all of my Rise Mode without music. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes just theme music can kind of get you a little hype a little bit, but I'm just saying like the crowd pops to me could be a little better in this game with that one but for the fifth one and again i'm coming out oh, you know again if you guys, if you guys, if you guys want five more things that that, that 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 can improve my rise or the 2k22 in general again let me know but for number five i would like to see like a gradual growth in like popularity or like gradual growth as far as like being like a main event star or like a mid car blah blah right and here's what i mean by this right so let's say when you're going through the story right it felt like once you switch brands, you kind of had to move your way right back up the ladder, which makes sense, right? It, it Again, it makes sense. But for example, right, most of the time when Brock Lesnar came back, it didn't matter which brand he came to, he was in the championship picture. I know it got very tiring at times, right? I, and I get that. But I'm thinking to myself, so what if, like, you start off on SmackDown, right? And... You work your way up, you know. You know, you you get the Intercontinental Championship, and then you go to the Universal Championship, and you win that, right? If you switch brands, and you are like, and you just lost the Universal Championship, wouldn't it make sense to go right into that WWE title like picture? You know what I mean? To kind of like go into that or whatever. Or like, if you were like an Intercontinental Champion uh, champion, and you were in the mid card, it would kind of be cool if you can go straight to the Universal to the United States Championship, like you know, picture or the title picture, or whatever, because you're like, hey. I want an Intercontinental, now I want the United States. You know what I mean? Like another mid-card thing. Like, it'd be kind of cool they kind of had you there. So, also, expanding on that, right? What if they had ways of having the, um... I'm trying to think of what, uh, what, what I want to say, y'all. Sorry. What if they thought of ways... There we go. The crowd reactions. Right? So, when you first come in, nobody knows you, right? Let's not have that big of a crowd reaction when you first coming out. I'm not saying, like, straight up silent. But, like, y'all know when there's, like, a person that nobody knows, it's not going to be that big of a reaction. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, let's say, like, your popularity growth gets higher and higher depending on your performance. You know what I'm saying? So, like, also, I wouldn't mind, like, the opponents being, like, different between, like, weight classes, right? So, if you're, like, a monster and you want to come in as a monster, wouldn't it be kind of nice if, like, my rise kind of notices that, right? And they had you have, like, a lot of squash matches off rip. Like, like your first couple of matches are, like, legit just, like, squash matches. Or, for example, if you're a cruiserweight 
they have you go against people like Ricochet or you know, you know, the whole bunch of people to have like a really like uh, okay, let let let's let's see what you can do. The the y'all kind of like kind of catch my drift of not like put me put in the conversation below, but, but I feel like y'all know what I mean. Like like like, like with Omos when he first come in, you know, like a big monster comes into WWE, you know, you you already know it. they're gonna go against a couple you know jobbers or whatever, they're gonna beat the fool out of them, and they're like, oh, this guy's an intimidating figure. Let's put him up against somebody else that's kind of big, and then boom. And then see if he can rise to be a main eventer. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'll be kind of nice to see, like, different paths depending on your weight class as well. Because we all know that, like, the story modes kind of shouldn't go exactly the same if you're, like, a 7'3 giant compared to if you're, like, a 6'0 cruiser rate. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of the brawls and the cutscenes would go a lot differently. Now, I know that's kind of a big ask. But, at the same time... Look at what they did with my rise. To me, my rise was a was like a really good game mode, but of course it wasn't perfect. You know what I mean? So again, let me know about some other things in the comment section below. If you guys have your own recommendations that you guys want me to touch on, again, let me know in the comment section below, man. I'm trying to get to them as fast as possible. You feel me? Let me know if you guys want some more of these videos. You know what I mean? Because again, I really do want to like you know come up with a lot of wish list stuff for W2K 22, uh, 23. You know what I'm saying? Now again, I know I'm still a small YouTuber, but you know. The my rise, you know, my rise videos did a little bit of a noise, and maybe, maybe somebody from WWE can look at this video. You know, who knows? You know what I'm saying? But hey, run this video up, man. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, man. Thank you guys so much for the support, and also again another shout out to W Energy, man. Go ahead and copy y'all something on the uh, website, man. You know, the other tubs go for like forty dollars, but also they have like cups that go for like I think like thirteen, fourteen. Don't 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 quote me on that one, but again. Those ain't the prices y'all gonna be paying. You feel me? Just gotta put in that code JY Gaming, and then you get 10% off of your purchase. You feel me? So go ahead and do that for me, man. Hit uh, get, uh put that JY Gaming promo code up in there, man. Thank you guys so much for watching again. And Jay Young out. What is this space, man?